Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing? I hope all of you are doing absolutely great. Ever feel like just chatting? You know, sharing your thoughts or feelings and dreams with other like minds? Well, that is what I'm feeling today. In fact, I was feeling it yesterday, but just couldn't get the time to do it. I want to share some things that I hope will be as important to you as they are to me. Many of you do not have the time nor the desire to just kick back and listen to the ramblings of an old lady. And I certainly understand, so feel free to give a listen or move on. Grab a hug first, though. Take a hug with you. For those of you that do want to listen, I hope you find my words filled with hope and know that they're spoken from the heart and as truthful as I know them to be. The first thing I feel I need to say is that none of us, not one of us, here on this earth knows the absolute truth. None of us. I don't care if, they're, if somebody's sitting in a castle somewhere or if they're sitting in a big white house or some palace. I don't care if they're in the biggest church or the smallest church. No one, none of us, know the absolute, beyond a shadow of doubt, truth. Truth about how we came to be. Truth about how the universe came to be or how it works. I mean, seriously, guys, there's so many topics of interest that none of us have totally figured out. There's more unknowns than there are knowns. It's a fact. I think more of us can see that today than ever before. Things are being learned more and more every day. Even new planets being found in a universe that they had figured out just ten years ago. They knew all about the universe. And how many new planets have they just discovered? There's so much more. So much more out there. So much more. Or did they? Did they just figure it out? Did they just find them? Maybe they've always known and just never said. We don't know, do we? Perhaps they just said that they did to bring comfort to all of us. Who knows for sure? Common sense. Boy, do we need more of it today. More so, I think, than ever before. Common sense has been missing for a lot of years. And it seems the problem's get, been getting bigger and bigger. Each generation loses some common sense. How can that be? I attribute the loss of common sense to really bad information coming to us through the hand-me-down knowledges of other people. The hand-me-down knowledge that goes from generation to generation to generation to generation. And we're not alone. Sitting at our dinner table the other night, before we started eating, we said grace. And then I spoke to the children. I said, I want you to think about something because they're concerned about this Iraq thing. They're concerned about what's happening in the world, the things that they see on TV or hear from friends or family. So I explained to them, as you sit before your plate, I want you to think about children in Iraq sitting around a table with their parents and grandparents, aunts and uncles or whoever, setting down to a meal. 
And one of the kids speaks up and says, Boy, those Americans, those Americans are crazy. They're heathens. They don't understand. They don't know. I feel bad for the Americans. They're really bad people. And we're sitting here at the table and you're saying to me, Boy, those people in Iraq, they're crazy. Those Muslims, they're insane. They're mean. They're killers. They're murderers. Yeah. Hand me down knowledge. All of our friends and family in Iraq were raised with hand me down knowledge. Information that was fed to them for breakfast, lunch, and supper. Just like our information and our ways are fed to us for breakfast, lunch, and supper. None of us know the truth. How do you bring the two worlds together, the two countries together, in a peaceful way to where all of us can work together and drive down that path to the truth, to our beginning, to how it came to be? Not somebody's words written on a, a tablet, you know, or on scrolled, uh, on a scroll, or uh, what do they call that, chipped into rock, you know, on the plates, the tablets, the scrolls, the walls, cave walls. Not that kind of information, not somebody relaying it, not somebody's ideas, not somebody's thoughts of what it is but the actual honest-to-God truth. God. Who is God? Have you ever seen God? Have you spoken to God? And yet we know there is an energy much bigger than any of us. Now over in Iraq, their idea of God, or over in China, their idea of God, or over in wherever, Czechoslovakia, Russia, whose ideas of God? Who is God? We only know what we have been taught, what we have been led to believe. We've never been shown. I've never shook the hand of God. I've never had anybody bring God to me and introduce him or her so I could shake God's hand and say, finally. Does this make any sense? None of us know. We only know what we've been taught. And it goes much deeper than that. There's big problems taking place. There are forces, whether it be of people, or whether it be of alien force, we don't know what it is. But it goes beyond our governments, deeper, deeper. And they're controlling things. They're putting on shows for you and I and for our brothers and sisters in Iraq and Afghanistan and Iran and China and Russia and Israel. The show is being put on for us. They show us just what they want us to see. We can't believe the news reels. Are you kidding me? We can't believe the movies. They're scripted. All of it is scripted. Every bit of it. We do not have the truth. And yet, very easily, we turn our backs on each other. We fight. We draw the guns up and we fire. We fire off the bombs without knowing. We do not know. They behead people. Why? because they've been taught that that's the thing they have to do. All the things that they do are hand-me-down information. These old men taking nine-year-old and eight-year-old little girls and marrying them so that they can, excuse me, screw them until their uteruses explode and they bleed to death, that all started because of one sick mind that said, ah, this is how we do it. This is the law. This is the way. Some sick mind started that. 
but because they believe in their book, they believe in their laws. Why do they believe that? Because it's hand-me-down knowledge that was shared to them with someone that they believed knew or they trusted in, that they loved, that they cared about. My mama brought me a Bible. So I looked at the Bible and I said, Wow, mom knows what she's doing. She would never mislead me. And yet much of what's written in the Bible has been altered, changed, and stuff for control, for whatever reason. Am I saying it's all wrong? No, I'm not saying it's all wrong. But I'm saying a lot of it is. A lot. Just like a good movie, it's all scripted by a human. Or, who knows? I do believe that there's hints in both books, in all books, in all holy books. There's more to this universe than we know. We are not alone. Could they be in charge? Could they be the ones causing this grief and strife here on earth? Are they the ones that are in control? Or is it merely a government? Who knows? We can't come together enough to find the truth. And that's what we need to do. I was part of the no war not in my name and I'm proud of that. Because I do not want any war with any other country. With no other person. No human being. We are beings. And it's time that we quit copying and following and absorbing hand-me-down knowledge. Instead of being copycats, we need to be. We need to be. We are all in this together. Every being on earth. Every being whether it's a lowly little sugar ant climbing around on your kitchen floor or wall or in your cupboards or whether it's a beautiful deer, a bear, an antelope, an eagle, a hawk, a human being. We are all in this together. I'm not alone and you're not alone. And our friends and family in Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, China, North Korea, South Korea, all of it, every country, Russia, none of us are alone. The only way to fix this sick earth is to fix our sick thinking. We are no better than anybody else. We are not the best of the human race, we Americans. None of us are any better than anybody else. We bleed the same, eat the same, drink the same, sleep the same, are born the same and die the same. It's time that we started living truth. And in order to do that, we all have to group together and find the truth. We will not do it being divided or fighting in wars, lying, deceiving, putting up fake videos, cutting out pieces of news clips and fear-mongering in a video to try and turn Americans against other countries or turn Iranians against other countries or, or Iraqis against other countries. The madness needs to stop. We need to turn the movie off. Turn their damn movie off. Let's find the truth. We need to find the truth. I love you all. Great big hugs. A whole bunch of love. And I hope that you guys take me very serious, because I am serious. They're lying to us, deceiving us, misleading us, 
scripting movies for us, even on our news channels. It's all fake. It's controlling us. It's stopping peace. There is no peace when you aim a gun at somebody else and say, I shot him for peace. Or you behead somebody for peace. No. There is a higher truth. There is much more to this than we know, and we've got to find it. We didn't just happen on earth. We were planted here. By whom? By God? In our scriptures, in Genesis, it says he, he created the worlds. Worlds, plural. Not world. Worlds. It is also said, let us, let us create them in our image. That's not a mistake. Not a mistake. We need to grow up. We need to start using common sense. They are controlling us with fake planes, hitting tall buildings, and taking them down, even though it's impossible to do so. It is absolutely impossible for those buildings to fall the way they did. But we saw it. I saw it. I know it's real. I saw it. My own two eyes on TV, on the news that morning. Do you remember that, dear? Ah, do you remember that? The morning of 9-11? Lauren. Yes. Do you remember that? Absolutely. We saw it with our own two eyes. Yep. So it had to be real. Had to be. Who's flying the drones, people? How about these new cars that drive themselves, people? Think about that the next time you see a replay of those planes. How did it happen? The wrong people got blamed. And speaking of that, they have a scapegoat now for Benghazi. Uh, Amid Abu Katala. Katala. Amid Abu Katala. He pled not guilty. And you know what? I don't blame him. I wouldn't go down for something that a government set up. I wouldn't do it. I'd plead not guilty to. Think about it. We are being lied to, deceived to, misled, taken down the wrong path. The truth is, is going to set us free. The truth will set you free. What they're telling us is not freedom. It's not setting us free. In fact, we're all living under fear. We're nervous wrecks. We don't know what's happening. We don't know what's going to happen next. Remember, the truth will set us free. We need to find the truth. And we're not going to find it from them. There's a stronger force, a higher force. There is a truth, and we need to reach for the truth. And that's a fact. I love you all. Hope I didn't bore you. Great big hugs. And we'll talk again. Common sense. Later.